What would it look like if ancient Gothic architecture was revived today but with a modern twist? Ever notice how we've just seemed to have lost that standard of beautiful ancient architecture that came out of predominant times such as ancient Greece, Rome, the Saxon era, and so on. I've got other videos explaining this in depth as to why this has actually happened and the whole story of modernism and ancient architecture. But in today's video, with the power of AI, I'm going to see if we can reimagine and bring back and revive ancient Gothic architecture from the kind of uh, Anglo-Saxon period and See, what would it look like if these churches and cathedrals were made with a blend of modernism but yet true to the old values and principles of that design. See, the problem with modernism is that we've done away with things like ornamentation and replaced it with clean proportions such as glass, steel, timber, fake tiles. Now, the firm that I'm working at, we actually did a skyscraper where the podium itself blends in with historical architecture that more gothic periods and I got to work alongside one of the seniors that actually designed this heritage facade that seamlessly blended with the surrounding historical buildings and honestly I absolutely love how it looks and I think it is possible to do this however unfortunately due to NDAs I cannot share what this looks like I was thinking if we're successful with this today in using AI to revive this I have this idea to do this whole video series of recreating a modern church but using principles of old gothic architecture and that facade that I saw in this firm, I'd be able to recreate something similar to it and use that as inspiration and just imagining it, you go, you got gothic, ancient gothic architecture and modernism and you kind of just like blend it. I mean, you probably put the gothic stuff above it because I think that's slightly cooler than modernism, but I was thinking of doing this project of just creating a modernized church using these ancient principles of design. I'll call it a modernized yet faithful church. But we're going to start off with just doing some prompting in Mid Journey and seeing if Mid Journey is able to create these kind of things. I've tried it once before and it did not work, so I'm going to hit it again. We're going to try some different prompts and see if we can create this kind of modernized ancient Gothic architecture. So. Let's jump into mid journey and we'll get prompting. I decided instead of me just sitting there creating prompts uh, and you watching me for three hours, I'd rather, <laughs> I'm just gonna do a bunch of prompts together, create some images, and then I'll do a little talk on the images I made and then we'll get back and then go back and forth until we've kind of got something we're happy with. The first prompt I used was just a simple, an ancient Gothic church in a modernized style. This didn't work because it hasn't put the modernized style into that architecture itself. I think the modernized style has something to do with the photography maybe because these are clearly just ancient buildings. I did some prompts previously where I had success with it. This one was classical architecture reimagined in a futuristic setting now. This is getting somewhere I think because you can see it's we've still got ancient proportions kind of like with the columns and also I know there's going to be definitely somebody in the comments that knows way more than me about ancient principles of design and architecture and history. I guess I'm not a history major. Um, you know, I know what I know, but I'm going to talk about it because I'm an architectural designer. So this kind of thing in the background, it seems a bit more like neo future. I don't think I've ever seen something like this with these proportions in ancient architecture. However, this colonnade is a little bit, you know, kind of ancient. Um, this one, I actually quite like this one. This is kind of how I would imagine ancient architecture recreated today. It has like, it, it, it's done away with ornamentation, yet it still has it. And we're using, this feels like it's using a more futuristic materiality, but still with the ancient principles of, you know, arches, buttresses, columns in this setting. So I think interior would kind of look something like this because we honestly don't really know what the interiors of these ancient temples actually looks like during the time. And I saw something like, Oh yeah, this is kind of just a generic futuristic city, but if you think about the kind of biophilic aspect of it, were these ancient temples covered in grass and greenery? We'd have no idea if they actually were or not. I mean, it's kind of the assumption based, I'm sure there's, you know, some archaeological evidence of these temples and stuff, but would you really be able to know what the planting situation was on these ancient temples? Were they really biophilic and futuristic looking and then throughout history all the plants you know moved and withered away or whatnot and we're just left with the bare structure so i think it'll be interesting to do like an ancient temple mixed with biophilic design and kind of see what the integration of greenery would look like because it could be interesting so i'm going to come up with some more prompts probably based on around these classical reimagined futuristic we'll see if we can try to get some sort of church even or temple so we'll try that struggling a little bit got some good results and some bad results um these first ones a gothic cathedral 
uh, a gothic architecture cathedral reimagined in a futuristic style. This is taken on like the, an actual ancient cathedral kind of made it look dystopian, futuristic. Not exactly what I was thinking. I want to focus on more the architecture itself. These ones, it's kind of getting there. That's definitely a modern church on the bottom right. Uh, I do like these top two ones because you do have that kind of ornamental windows mixed with this kind of clean architecture on the outside, but still looks kind of crappy, modernistic. This one here, only the bottom left one is kind of what I'm thinking. On the inside, you know, you've still got the ancient principles, but you've got the more monolithic, concrete, modernist kind of look. That was Gothic architecture, cathedral reimagined in a modern style. So when you say modern style, obviously it's not picking up that it should be the architecture modernized. It's putting that modern style into the camera, which is not ideal. I tried putting in a specific cathedral. Maybe this cathedral itself is not popular enough because I can see I wrote Sydney and put in the opera house by the looks of it. Although the top right one does look pretty neat. It's like a concrete kind of cathedral. And then I go to ancient cathedral constructed out of monolithic concrete. So I thought maybe if we just describe ancient cathedral and then describe only the materials and leave out all this kind of modern futuristic things. And honestly, I think this bottom left one is the best one we've got so far. Like not perfect. I mean, you're not really getting any actual ornament, like meaningful ornamentation out of this. And you've, but it does, you know, it looks pretty neat. These other ones are a bit too monolithic, a bit too basic. But I'll upscale this one because I do like where this one's going. You know, if you imagine you change that ornamentation to actual um, imagery and whatnot. And I tried exterior view of a lone standing Gothic cathedral. Then just describe the materials and add in modern architecture and gothic architecture. Yeah, it kind of works. The top left one, I don't know, it looks a bit strange. Uh, it's not really what I'm thinking. This kind of fragmented Frank Gehry, not quite what I'm going for. Again, similar prompt for this one. Bottom left one is okay. Still too modernistic. Like the bottom right one just looks like some modern crap that they'll make today. This one, again, now this is getting worse. The top left one, this is horrendous. All these are horrendous. So far, the most successful one is this one. So this is just describing an ancient cathedral and just describing some simple materials that would be created in the modern day. So I'm gonna make some more prompts and try to base it around this, but instead of exterior view, I made some more. Again, it seems to just be applying the stylized to the actual camera, not the architecture itself. Although I went ahead and made variations of this old one that I liked. And I think this is, this is really starting to capture the essence of it. Like I absolutely love this bottom left one. I think this shot is kind of what I'm thinking. Like I'm just trying to get it to do this, but on the outside, can you imagine what this would look like on the outside? You know, cause concrete's quite a prevalent material used in today. Same with timber and glass. I'm thinking, you know, they use sandstone and marble back in the day, but maybe we don't have access to that. So will we use those same gothic proportions and principles but with concrete instead and glass and I think this is really capturing what this kind of space would look like if we use that highly skilled and dedicated labor work mixed with these ancient principles and pro uh, proportions would we get something that looks like this with more concrete and this one uh, not so much it's kind of turning too modernistic again we want to keep that ornamentation but as well with that futuristic kind of look so I decided to drop this one in. This is my absolute favorite so far. Get Mid Journey to describe it and it looks like it's really going into detail. So in my final attempt, I'm going to try use this amount of detail in the prompting to try to get exactly what we want and see if we can do this and get an exterior view of this because I think this is amazing. You know, maybe I might even Photoshop some of this to fix it up. You know, if we put some actual holy ornamentation on that uh, glass window there, fix it up a bit um, instead of this just so it's not too generic and actually make it a proper church. I think that we'll be getting somewhere at least. So I'll go ahead and start writing some new prompts kind of using this. After describing these images and putting the prompts in, it generated some new ones. So this was the first one we got. I decided to take away, uh, this one says concept art, interior, futuristic temple and whatnot. So I did the exact same thing, but changed interior to exterior and still is doing the, still doing the interior of it. Like this is getting a lot better. Like this is kind of what I was thinking on the top left. Um, I upscaled some of them because you know, we're, we're getting somewhere with what these columns will look like, with what the ornamentation will look like using concrete instead of sandstone and marble. Um, this one's quite beautiful, I quite like. Um, uh, getting a bit heavy with uh, Jesus on the cross in the middle. Um, gotta be careful depicting that. But um, yeah, it's still, like there's no ornamentation what I was thinking of, but even this personally, I don't know, if we were to create a modern church using 
ancient principles and you wanted to create that ornamentation back in the day they chiseled it out and made all this like little mini statues and stuff going around the windows and and these you know the ornamentation essentially but how would we make that in the modern day because would you really be able to find contractors that can you imagine going up to a contractor and being like just random like steve's construction company hey can you please chisel out some realistic statues of people depicting this like i don't think that would happen then you'd have to think well maybe you'd 3d print them but then does that really have the meaning anymore if you just 3d print this ornamental kind of look so would you even have that kind of ornamental windows and whatnot which that kind of kind of brings up the question which i think might answer later on if i end up do, doing that design series but um i try my best to make it the exterior but as soon as you go out to the exterior it is kind of what i was thinking but now it's just all one material now it's getting to that too futuristic dystopian look which i think is kind of just washed out and boring because you see it in every sci-fi movie so i'm gonna stick with oh, actually this is not bad the bottom left one actually that looks um, i could sit here literally for hours and hours trying to do this but but i still think this is the best that we've got so far I really would love to see this on the exterior, but we just can't seem to get there. Oh yeah, I love this one. Yeah, see, if I was the designer, I would probably still... This actually kind of looks like what our firm does. You got that timber kind of look behind it with that white concrete in front. I really think that if we were to design a modern church like this, it would look kind of like this. Just with maybe a little bit more ornamentation, you know, we'd add a bit of ornamentation to it. A little bit more meaningful, but it's still... This is a nice medium between the clean modernistic look and still kind of got that ancient proportions going on you know i'm thinking about do it, taking on this big design project of recreating a modern church using ancient uh, gothic architecture principles we might get into a video of that but let me know if you want to see that in the comments or maybe we try hitting this again and see if we can get the ai to create this from the exterior but i say we were successful in creating an interior not so much in creating an exterior so let me know if you want to see that series in the future otherwise thank you for watching